All right, let's go ahead and look at this problem. It says the principal represents an amount of money deposited in a savings account subject to compound interest at the given rate. So first of all, it is compound rate interest. Uh, it says find out how much money there will be in the account after the given number of years. So what we're looking for is A, or the future value. Notice they gave us the principal, or what we sometimes call the present value. The interest rate, written as a decimal, will be 0 0.09. Because it's compounded daily, we'll use N equals 360. That means once a day, they're applying interest to your account, so that the next day, you're getting interest on what you originally put in plus any interest you've already um, earned. And our time is five years. Okay, so let's go ahead and, well, first of all, we gotta know which formula to use, and that would be this one here. This is the formula for compound interest compounded in times per year. Um, if we had been given A and we were looking for P, we would have used this formula, and these are two totally different formulas. So for compound interest, when we put in a lump sum, this is the, um, the formula that we use. So let's go ahead and write it down. So we have A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. And P here is 10,000. And it's 1 plus 0 0.09 over 360. And then it's to the 360 times 5 power. And so we need to put that into the calculator. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. So 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.09. Uh, notice I'm just using the fraction button to put that in. Over 360 arrow out of there and put our parenthesis and then don't forget you want to hit the exponent button here and we'll put in 360 times 5 and then I arrow out and you can see everything except for the 10,000 you could always arrow left if you want to see that part but it looks just like it does on paper I guess I can do that real quick there's the 10,000 so it looks like everything is in there correctly. It's always a good idea to double check the way it looks. Notice the 360 times 5 is in the exponent. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And I'm getting $15,682.24 if you round to the nearest cent. Now let's see what they said here. rounded to the nearest hundredth, so that's to the nearest cent. So it is $15,682.24. And now we need to find the interest that was earned. Well, we put in $10,000. That was the imag uh, original, uh, original principal or amount that was deposited into the bank. So if you find the difference, $5,682.24, that's your interest. So this is the interest, and up here we found the amount of money after, or the amount of money in the account after five years. All right, which was fifteen thousand six hundred eighty-two dollars and twenty-four cents. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you still have any questions or any problems.